what is up youtube today we're going to be discussing how to fresh install windows 10 on a hewlett packard nv 700 series aka hp nv 700 series um little side project going on i'm not gonna tell you what it is until it's completely done but stay tuned for it but I got this machine and I'm rebuilding it so we're gonna be installing windows on first thing we gotta do is you need a USB at least 32 gigabytes in size I got this PNY so we're gonna be using that and you need another computer so we're going to be using my main setup and plug that right in. You want to search up Windows Media Creation Tool and it should bring you to a Windows site. You click download now. It should download and open. launch up this all I gotta do is accept it getting things ready again so if we was upgrading to a later version say for instance Windows 7 we could upgrade my PC but since we're doing it for another PC and this is not Windows 7 and we're not doing an upgrade all you have to do is click the second option create install media USB flash drive to another PC we say next turns out all you need is an 8 gigabyte click USB flash drive at least 8 gigabytes in size. I was wrong earlier. Not 32, but 32 is pretty cheap, so it wouldn't hurt. Removable drives. We do not want my hard drive. So we want my media transfer drive, which is basically whatever the name is of your USB. I, I custom named it, so in my case it's media transfer drive click next to whatever your USB drive is and it should download Windows 10 or 11 depending on what you are downloading. Once it's complete it's gonna say it's ready you just click finish can you just focus it says setup is cleaning I'm pretty sure the process is complete make sure there's no activity on the LED light and you can check the contents and it looks like everything checks out this important step is to eject the disk wait for the prompt and you can safely remove the next step is to turn off make sure this is off and to connect this especially for Windows and BIOS updates, directly to the motherboard, not to any of the front connection connections, like if here, or even if the top connections, they're all connected by a wire going to the motherboard. So to get a perfect, stable connection connected in the back where the motherboard goes. Put it right here, because it's a super speed one. To tell the super speed, if you don't know, it's the SS symbol. Then we turn it on. And as we turn it on, for this particular motherboard, you would look up how to boot from a USB on the internet, because every motherboard is different. Turn it on. My case, I just have to spam the escape key. Press F9 and select the drive. Make sure you know what it is. This is USB. Click enter. Next step is to 
Verify your settings, US, next. And then just install Windows. I'll say setup is starting. Click I accept. And next. For this one, we're doing a clean install, so we're going to do custom. And we are going to select the first drive, which is that mSATA SSD. Figured I would use that as a better storage alternative. So, back to this. Click that. And I'll go through this. And I'll go through the process of installing. Step is to download updates because it will have security flaws. And a nice virus protection if you, is recommended. If not, continue to use Windows Defender. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is how to install Windows 10 on a brand new machine, regardless of what system it is. Let me know what you want to see next or if you have any questions about your system. I'll see you guys for the next video.